EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey golf fans, welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Rory McIlroy, the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. I do hope all you fantastic subscribers and viewers are well. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. We are playing short rounds today, so this is going to be really, really tough to win. James Han is the current leader at 6-under. But I think I play 4 or 5 holes each round, and we will complete the 4-round event. So we are teeing things off here on the 7th hole. 208 yards. I think this five iron is made for the shot. See if we can overpower a little bit. It's a fast and a short swing, so that will come up short. But it should leave me an uphill putt for an opening birdie. But we have heard that EA Sports PGA Tour 2023 will be delayed until the, the weekend of the Masters. Um, it's not an ideal situation, but at the end of the day, I would rather play a game at launch that has less bugs and is a better final product. Speed was I will keep you up to date with fight. any breaking news Speed we are hearing He's coming out of EA Sports now. PGA Tour. So we did miss that opening birdie putt. Let's see if we can secure a part. This is going to be really tough to do. As you know, I absolutely killed the AI in the previous event just playing the full 18 rounds we did have to switch all the the green grids off to make it competitive but Spieth co-leader and we do jump on to hole number eight this is a short par four dog leg right taking this down the left hand side and that should leave me a nice angle to go and attack this flag stick just a good solid tee shot right there about 280 yards Frank, this is a position so 185 yards to the pin. Good we do to have break. low winds today. One mile per hour. Like just jumped up to two. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right Six now iron should be good. Play. I am looking to land this short of the pin. Anything right of the flag stick should be ideal. Water and play left. It's a good tiny fast. Play. That will take me over to the left a little bit more. But that has worked out really, really well. Hopefully we can convert. This five or six foot putt for our opening birdie. Distance, just trying to take care of business. There is a lot of movement in this. Downhill a little bit as well. Oh, that turned a lot more than I gave it credit for. And my putting woes continue. It doesn't matter what game I play. PGA Tour 2K23 or EA Sports. PGA Tour Rory McIlroy. I just cannot seem to make putts at the moment. And already I am six shots behind Spieth, Han, Fidesz, Castano and points. So we move on to hole number nine. This is a tight fairway. I'm going to try and take this down the centre off the fairway. We are swinging well. I am playing on the hardest swing difficulty, which is Tour. Still a lot of work to do here. 204 yards to the pin five hybrids too long but we are gonna have to try and partial this i am in between clubs a little bit so going for about 95 percent power here i actually hit a full swing so that is going to be long looks like it that's actually came up short that has worked out superbly i expected that to be past the pin there this is a very makeable pot from 17 feet out this will break from right to left. Not too much in it, though. Let's play it a little bit firm. That ball really turned hard left at my feet. Break on that medium length putt right so it's there. another failed birdie opportunity chance. Just not taking these putts that are coming our way. And that is going to mean I am going to remain six shots behind the group leaders unless they have picked up birdies in the last few holes. I must admit, I actually enjoy this format where you only play four or five holes per round. It certainly makes things interesting and a far more difficult challenge. So hole number 10, this is a really short par four. I'm going to try and cut the corner down the right-hand side here a bit. 
the wind should shift us over to the left hand side and that will be a short approach shot into the green so 141 yards to the pin we do have a two mile per hour wind I think my nine iron should be good here with a slight elevation on the green that's a lovely strike that should be money that really should be money sit down it's a fantastic approach shot hopefully we do pick up our first birdie off the round couldn't have struck that any better three foot pop even i can't miss those ones so we do pick up our first birdie we do move to one under par and let's progress to round number two where hopefully my par comes alive channel on ea sports in association with the pga tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hills Club so I am 10 Orlando, shots behind Florida. Lee Westwood. Side Bubba Watson in contention PGA as well. Stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We do pick Always things up on the 11th. Field. This is a short and par four. Dog leg left, an approach shot particular. will be across Talking the water here. But I must admit, this I game is dated. But it is a nice change from PGA Tour 2K23. And I'm just trying to keep my eye in with the game style for the upcoming PGA Tour 2023, which we have spoken about. A iron should be good here. This wind will move me from right to left. It's a good strike. I think we are going to be in the left-hand side of the flagstick, though. But that is going to leave me about a six to seven foot putt for an opening birdie. And I do really need to start dropping these putts. Our pattern in round one was atrocious. A little bit of right to left movement here. Uphill so we can play it far. And a great way to start the second round with a birdie. That gets me to two under for the event. Nine shots behind Westwood. Let's see if we can hunt these guys down. Oosthuizen making a climb on the leaderboard as well. Hole number 12, par 5, so surely... We can pick up at least a birdie here. I don't think I'll reach this in two, though. My character build, it is low. But it's more of a finesse, precision build over power. So still a lot of work to do here. 283 yards to the pin. I think we can chase driver up between the two bunkers here. And hopefully leave myself a little flop shot. I did get the overswing perfect. That was a really good strike. That's tracking well. Threaded the eye of the needle there. That's a fantastic golf shot. Let's try and flop this as close to the pin as possible. This could even drop if we play it well. It should be a gimme birdie from here. An eagle would be massive. Played it well, it does have a chance, it should spin. Oh, I think we just missed dropping that into the cup for the eagle, to be honest. Pick up lots of XP points there for that close approach. And it is a great start to round two. Back to back birdies progresses me to three under par. Making a dent in the leaderboard now. Eight shots behind Westwood, who is in the clubhouse. Hole number 13. This really is a spectacular hole. Into the window. It's a good strike. We will lose a little bit of yardage off the tee with that short swing. That's going to leave me nothing more than a pitch. Or a full wedge. Into this 13th green. I am going to pitch this. I think it's made for it. But how good does the layout of this course look? Love the colours and the textures, to be honest. Let's see if we can get this sitting right down next to the flagstick. It's tracking well. Oh, I think that's actually going to come up short. That wind's held up a lot more than I gave it credit for. And we have managed to spin it back about another foot. But it is going to leave me a makeable putt once again. I would have liked to have been closer there. This is an awkward length. It's a 15 foot putt. Turning from right to left. Get in, get in. And at long last, we are making some birdie putts. So that's three straight birdies in round number two. It does put me to four under. And we are starting to climb the leaderboard here at the 2023 Arnold Palmer 
Invitational. Hole number 14. This is a long par three. Just in between clubs here. My two irons should bail me out. Playing the wind and looking to find the left hand side of this pin. That is a lovely strike. Needs to get down though. Just over hit that. We've actually trickled into the bunker. If that stayed up, it would have been a very makeable birdie pot. Let's try and be aggressive here without leaving myself a lot of work to do for the par. Just a little bit too aggressive. That could be a mistake. This is going to be no gimme for the par save. Wow, 17 feet past I ran that. That came out a lot better than I anticipated. But it is a good up and down for the par. It means I do remain at four under par. Seven shots behind the leader Westwood. Watson, Stefani, all on the leaderboard. All in the clubhouse. And this will be our final hole of round two, I do believe. Let's see if we can finish with a birdie and get to five under par. This is a long par four. Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Richard's basically green light special. Five iron. The flag starts to get pushed towards Just the in between clubs. Green, it starts to get narrow I'm going to have to try and partial this narrow. five hybrid. We actually That's played a really good shot with the hybrid. I think it was in the previous round. It's a short swing and a fast. What's the outcome here? This came up a little bit short, but it is going to be a makeable pot. That, Probably about feet. 10 feet. Right, from that distance. More than good. I would love to drain this. It's actually 17 feet. This is moving from right to left. It's on a good line and it just clings on to the left hand side. Good My character absolutely yeah, loves that. But that is a really good second round. It is putting me up the leaderboard and keeping me in contention. We do finish at five under four rounds one and two. But let's move on to round number three. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. One so I'm six shots behind Westwood, PGA Tour, it's the Bay Hill but today is known as moving day, and hopefully if we can Arnold repeat our feat of round two, so we will put ourselves in contention for the final ball. round. That is a really tough pin. I'm going to try and be aggressive here and just carry the bunker and land this at the front of the green. It's a tiny short swing. Oh, don't say this is bunker bound. It's not. It's a lovely approach shot. Commentator's got that one wrong. That really is a fantastic approach shot. And surely we do kick things off with another birdie here. We do... And the birdie streak continues after a, a very right average round one. I am hunting down Westwood and Watson who are yet to tee off. Hole number eight. Let's take this down the left hand side. The wind will shift us over to the right. Full swing fast. That is going to work out well. I am trying to overpower some of these tee shots, but it's very, very difficult. Arnold Palmer's legacy to golf is Six irons going to be too long. Seven irons should be ideal here with that five mile per hour wind behind me. Let's see if we can give the gallery surrounding the eighth something to cheer. There's a blimp off in the distance up in the sky. And it's another really good approach shot. We are getting dialed in here. And hopefully we can convert the 17 foot putt for birdie. He lives and breathes at Bay Hill. And this will move from right to left. Every March, it's a great reminder to not just Mr. Palmer, but also the golf course. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, it didn't turn as much as I expected it would. It was a good effort, though. That was a tough part. Sadly, it's just going to be a kick in par. And we are going to remain at six under. Reach out to the galleries. Sign autographs. Look him in the Westwood away to tee off. Hopefully he doesn't have a good round. 
whatever it is, believe we in can it, narrow it, that gap. Hole number nine. This is a long par four, but we do have wind advantage here. I think number three, go for it. I'm only hitting the ball 260 yards off the tee box. Carry that is. But we boomed that 295 yards. So 188 yards to the pin. Six iron should be good. This wind will carry us forward and move us over to the right hand side. We got the full swing. That wind has taken it over superbly as well. And that is a fantastic approach shot. Really happy with that. Racking up the XP points once again. This looks a pretty straightforward putt. It is going to break a little bit left here. And we do drain it. Starting to hunt down Westwood and Bubba Watson. Seven under. Westwood still not teed off. Excellent front side. Watson tees off. Three minutes past three as well. So many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. But the short par four tenth into the window. This should be nothing more than a nine iron probably into this slightly elevated this green. Is where that wind is in my face though. I think eight iron is going to be too short. This game just looks like fun. Let's go seven iron. Try and partial this a little bit. Right now is just the flag. That six mile per hour wind should hold me up. Just aiming left of the pin. It's a short swing and a fast. And with that, we've came up short right. These tiny short swings really kill the yardage on this game. And that is a difficult putt. 24 feet, turning from right to left. This ball will move a lot. Hold your line, get in, get in. What a fantastic putt. If only I could have made some of those putts in round one, I think we would be in contention. But that does complete round three. We are moving up the leaderboard and certainly in contention for the fourth and final round. And let's see if we can walk away with the win. Looking forward to this. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Hello again so this is certainly going to make for an entertaining round. We are four shots behind Orlando, Westwood, Brandon Steele, Spieth and Us Hazen in contention as well. Let's see if we can start strong. Short par four, wind advantage off the tee box. This should be nothing more than a wedge, maybe even another pitch shot across the water. Sunday pins round Bay Hill are always tricky though. So 69 yards. You're coming from an elevated tee. It's tough to judge the right club and get the ball to land softly. And of course, there's always. Let's try and flop this. I know it's a bit of a risky shot. But the flop does sit down very, very quickly. There we go. As long as we just land this at the front of the green, it should be money. That looks like it's long. It's way long. So it I really overhit that. Another solid approach shot. Made par yesterday. It does leave me a 19 foot par. I've got to be careful here. This is downhill. Don't want to hit this too far past the cup, but it could trickle into the into the drink. Let's see if we can kick things off here on round four with an opening birdie. It's got the line, has it got the legs? Oh my goodness, we left it short. Would you believe that? It was a decent read. Just a formality. And that's disappointing. An in short a dropping for the birdie. That could well come back to haunt me. We should be nine under. I should be better than nine under. We just couldn't right convert putts on day one. So hole number 13, 14, sorry, is a par three. Aiming is right in the pin. Two iron again should be good. That wind should hold me up and take me to the left. It's a really nice strike. This is tracking well. That is a fantastic approach shot. Green seem a little bit firmer today. But it has left me a 12-foot putt for birdie. These are the kind of putts you need to convert. 
if you are going to win events or even break into the top three. Oh, it's turned a lot more than I gave it credit for. And we've went a par par start. Frustrating start to the round. I am going to remain at eight under. Hopefully we get a par five and I can make eagle or something and try and put a little bit of pressure on Spieth, who is the new leader. Hole number 15. This is one of the more challenging holes on the course, too. We have found a fairway. But this is going to be a tough pin. Frank, really good chance from right at the back of the green. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right I'm just going to try and play the wind in the firm conditions here, but I'm really in between clubs. Let's try and overpower the five iron. See if we can get an overswing. An overswing, perfect. 1%. This should be good. This should be really good. That should run out. It didn't run out as much as I was hoping for, but it is going to be another birdie putt. This time from 21 feet. There doesn't look as if there's much in this. I really need to convert this to get this round going. The putter has been cold so far, but that looks good. And it is good. And my character loved that one. Giving the fans something to shout about. And we are now hunting Spieth and Steel down. Spieth's on hole 8. McElroy coming into contention as well. Here's a par 5. Now we can comfortably reach this in 2. Shortest par 5 on the course, the 16th. An eagle here could well be massive. This really is edge of your seat stuff. It's a good drive. 302 yards, we've boomed that. So 213 yards. It's a tough pin. I'm going to try and be aggressive here. I'm going to try and land this as close to the right-hand side of the flagstick as possible with the hybrid. That's tracking well. The wind's taking it round beautifully as well. That is a fantastic approach shot. It is going to give me an eagle opportunity. It will be a tough putt. But an eagle here could be a game changer. It is a tough putt. I've missed so many of these putts this tournament. It's downhill as well. Let's see if we can read this one. Take my time over this putt. Come on, turn, turn. Boom, what an eagle that is. That really does put me in contention now. I am one, two shots behind with one shot to play, I do believe, in this round. And it is going to be the 17th. Tough hole to find birdie. But I must admit, I've really enjoyed this event in this format. It makes it much more competitive and challenging. That's a good shot. It looks like it's going to be a little bit long. It's more than a little bit long. The important thing is it does give me a birdie putt. This would get me to 12 under par. This is downhill. Got to be careful here. But let's see if we can drain this for the birdie. This could be massive. Just looking at the worm cam. I've short swung it. That could come up short. Oh, it didn't. It just burnt by the left-hand side of the cup. It was a good read. It was a very good attempt. Sadly, it is just going to be a par. So it looks like I am going to be finishing at 11 under par. Actually, I don't know. I think this is going to let me play the 18th. Hopefully it does and we can finish with a birdie. It is going to let me play the 18th. This really is a fantastic finishing hole. It's a good tee shot. Let's see if we can get to 12 under. My putt just let me down today, especially in round one. We missed two or three really good birdie opportunities and they have come back to haunt me. This is a risky shot across the water. Look how tight and tucked in that flag stick is. But let's take it on once again with a five hybrid. This club's been a godsend for me today. Playing the wind. It's a lovely, lovely strike. It looks like it's leaking right. Oh, it's too far right. It is going to give me a chip-in opportunity. 
went sideways. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? This is dangerous. Well, but look at the moving water to the, the left hand side. That's something that's just recently been added to PGA Tour 2K23. Lovely Ball animations. Let's go for broke here. Go on, get in, get in. Oh, it just burns by the left-hand side. We gave it a good attempt. But that is it for today's video, guys. We are sadly going to finish at 11 under par. Wasn't good enough for the win. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye. Standard of courses we're seeing is, is excellent. And, and consequently, it's enabling the players to really play some great golf. So... I think uh, golf's the winner today.